Hello there, Aaron from ADH Gaming here. I'm sure you're aware by now that Nintendo are releasing Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. It's due on the 2nd of December this year if I recall correctly. Basically though, there are some differences between the 3DS version and the Wii U version that's been out for about a year now. Firstly, it does come with 100 courses in the game, a bit like the Wii U version, but what is different is that although you can play Wii U courses via like the 100 Mario Maker sort of levels, you can't actually just search for them. So if you're like on some message forum and someone's actually left codes, you're not going to be able to just go onto the 3DS version and search for it, which is a big shame really. I'm not quite sure why Nintendo have done this, but they have said if you do create a level on the 3DS, you can share it by using Street Pass or lo local multiplayer. Do many people still use Street Pass? I must admit, I don't really carry my 3DS around much nowadays, and so I don't really get that benefit. I can kind of see myself just sticking with the Wii U version, to be honest. What Nintendo have said, though, is that users can collaborate to make special share courses. This isn't in the Wii U version at all. They haven't actually released much information about that feature. I can only assume that maybe create a level and then invite other people to work on that level, which sounds good and I'm, I'm sure it, it will do well, but it doesn't quite make up for the fact you can't search for the levels that other people created on the Wii U version. One other big thing is that the game is actually 2D only. So even if you're playing it on a 3DS and not just your 2DS, it's going to be 2D. Why is this the case? I'm not quite sure. Maybe it is to save some CPU usage. The older 3DS, obviously the newer 3DS does have a better CPU and graphic chip. Not quite sure for a game like Mario why it would require uh, 3D to be turned off to gain the extra power, but still, maybe it's something Nintendo is thinking about dropping in the future, the whole 3D aspect. It's, it's looking likely the NX will not be 3D, so maybe they're slowly sort of cutting down on 3D releases. One other thing, I'm kind of disappointed they haven't announced or well it's looking like they won't be doing it is making other tile sets for the 3ds version now you would think being a handheld console they might look back at their library like the older game boy games super mario land super mario land 2 not quite sure the wario land games would come into this but i think it would actually be really good that they could take a tile set say from mario land 2 and add it as an option in uh, the 3DS version just to make it slightly different because I don't quite see the purpose of purchasing a 3DS version if you do already own the Wii U one and maybe Nintendo sort of aren't expecting you know players to buy both versions but yeah it, it just kind of disappoints me a bit that they haven't really tried to improve the 3DS version but you never know they, they could secretly have some features built into it and we won't find till release. Uh, apart from that, not much has been said about the uh, Super Mario Maker 3DS, so it's kind of just waiting to hear if there will be any news nearer the time of release. It's only coming out in a couple of months, so they hopefully will uh, release some more info soon. Anyway, what do you think? Will you be buying the 3DS version if you already own the uh, Wii U version? or do you not have a Wii U so you will pick up the 3DS game. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.